Hi, Mark Camosio, Gunmark TV. Got here to show you one of the brand new Stoger um, Bullpup models. Um, we tested a while back the XM1 from Stoger, which was their first PCP rifle, so quite a significant air gun. Um, obviously Stoger, an Italian make, and there, there's a real flair behind the, the styling configuration of their, their guns and obviously we saw that with the XM1 but of course the ballpark market is such a popular sector they weren't going to ignore that for a while so they've come out with their own ballpark version and here it is this is the XM1 ballpark and it again you've got just obvious styling that's sort of lacking on a lot of other rivals but it really does look the part it's a, it's a very impressive little gun very compact in 6.2 pounds without the scope so it's a very very manageable and yeah you've got the sort of classic ballpup configuration where the action you see the actions ending there so it's right set back to the back of the stock that's the whole point of ballpup so it changes the handling it changes the balance and um, obviously where a lot of models fall down you've they, they might just have put the action of the standard rifle to the back and you've got a bolt actually here sometimes and it's, it's virtually impossible to cock it this one's properly designed so you've got your side lever system exactly where you need it so i can cycle that from the shoulder which of course is brilliant so yeah it's very neat now i'll just show you what this comes with first of all synthetic stock but you get a lot of accessories so with this you get um, the front handle there so you've got the, the forward grip that's really nicely done actually and obviously just under the allen keys and that just pulls off and then you've got a blanking section that will if you don't want that you can just blank that off really neatly and you've got a continuous run of four in so it's, it's just it's particularly well molded it's very nicely done um, but yeah that's that's a nice little feature you've got two of these picatinny rails so you've got one on each side and again they're removable so if you don't you know if you want to add lasers and all the accessories you've got it all here if you don't want to do that you can just take them off which is great Stoger make a big um, point of technical configuration of some of the features. You've got like the comfort rear pad system. Obviously, as you can see, there you've got two spacers. And whereas on the original XM1, it all seemed a bit of a half-hearted effort. I could never quite get the spacers to work properly. But these are removable spacers, and you obviously you can literally alter the length of pull by altering the length of the stock. So that, that's a great feature. Moving to the, they call it sort of pro pro adaptive checkering and you've got um, that sort of roughened system underneath all part of the molding but it does feel good in the aim grip system and you actually get two pistol grips and as you see it's very subtle I mean they, they could have gone a bit a bit more um, to town on this but you, you can they're interchangeable but the black one is the larger grip so you can alter the actual feel of it again it's all done very simply allen key uh, just undo the one allen key and the next one snaps in place obviously the blue um, contrast there looks looks the part as well so there are two cheek pieces with this and one is slightly higher than the other again it's helping to protect the fact that you're um, mounting over the breech but also it, it allows you to get a different um, eye scope eye alignment relationship so yeah it's, you've got a lot of flexibility with this it's, it's quite neat now obviously it's a multi-shot system and you get two of their magazines again these feel quite nicely made and uh, it's the sort of classic rotary style drum inside a cassette and uh, you've obviously we've filled one there all ready to go but you've got having two means you've got a good backup now coming back to the gun obviously looking at the main features here you've got you can see you've got a shrouded barrel with some rear porting there you've got at the front you've got a threaded um, cover there and you've got you can just take that off and then screw on a silencer that noisy in practice but obviously if you if you want to stick on an additional silencer then you can and that will really kill it you've got a spring loaded um, you can see there's a manometer in the front there as well to show you residual pressures we've also got a spring loaded valve cover so you just pull that up and then it will reveal your probe system to charge it up uh, 250 bar is the pressure on these two stage trigger with a push button safety catch inside and as I say the uh, Picatinny rails for the scope and then the side lever cocking so yeah it's, it's, it's been quite well thought out and um, it's quite quite slickly presented right so we're going to see how this goes so obviously it's side lever action 
pull the side lever back. Not too much, it's a bit more effort than some, but it's no no great shakes, quite easy to cock. And then these magazines, it's um, quite an unusual shape, but it literally does stand high like that in the system. Slot it in, and there's a mag uh, magnet inside, and you just fill that slot in, that's quite neat actually. So I can push that forward, and now we're ready to go for, um, obviously, the duration of the mag. So again, we can cycle this from the shoulder, perfect positioning of the lever. <clears throat> and so the two-stage trigger is quite responsive as well, um, but all that cycles really efficiently. Yeah, nice little rifle. So. Um, it's a regulated action by the way as well, but yeah, that's the XM1 bullpup.